Hello guys, it's your boy Jakes B. I'm here to put my visors on, my JDM visors. This one's actually swivel to the left and to the right. And also, um, I'm putting on new um, seals on. Hopefully, it should stop leaking on my little dosel right here. And put in some, put in some Shinsetsu grease. <laughs> it's a crazy uh, affair to just put grease on, so, yep. I would like to give a huge shout out for um, John Mandelville for the instructions and also shout out to um, Alan Nichols for sending this from UK. You the man, bro. First thing I need to do first is uh, unscrew the screws over here and um, where's the second one? Second one is over here, both sides first. And the next step, we're um, we're gonna remove the Torx screws with these uh, Torx drivers right here. Uh, luckily, Connor has like a a set of these. So it's really helpful. USDM visors. This is actually heavy. Um, I was told this is three pounds. Weighs three pounds, and it doesn't swivel. You know, cause USDM, they try to screw us over. And then just repeat on the other side. Once you're done, you remove the visors. It should look like this. Right here, it should look like that. The end. Next step is removing the panels. So you start from the middle end and then outward. Should look like this as your end product right here. It's all bare metal now. You don't have the panels no more. So now we can actually start putting in the seals. All right. Next, I remove the seals off. I just so the only thing that's connecting this uh, this seals on the pillar is actually this this uh, screw right here but I had to pry it and I have to save it because I'm gonna use it for the old seals and then the next one is like basically save this save these uh, screw this uh, plastic clip right here and also I need to unscrew this uh, flat I mean Phillips screw right here As you can see, I removed like the plastic clip, one right here, and uh, two screws right here, and one right there. And you should end up with this amount. Uh, I got two. I got two um, Phillips screwdriver and one small clip that attaches to the door jam, and one big clip that attaches nearby the target tap latch uh, mechanism and basically do the same thing in here because I got two screws uh, one, one clip that fell out and got busted one clip that fell out and uh, one, one right here and the door jam
as you can see, my life of my seal has uh, actually has dry rot on them. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but just have a dry rot on them. So now we're putting the new seals. This came from Alan Nicholas from the UK. Help me out. Shout out to him. Just do the step in reverse, just put it back in. As you can see, the new screws are in. It doesn't have a significant dry rot, but I still need to put chinette grease over there. The only bad thing is that this screw got destroyed, so I might have to source some extra ones from the rear because Alan supplied me with uh, these plastic uh, plastic tabs that came with the came with the rear ones, so I should be good. So basically using the screws from the US spec ones, just put it back in reverse order. Um, side panels first. So the difference between the USDM ones, which is the heavy ones right there, and these ones, actually these ones can swivel. And yeah, um, it can, you can put it on the side if the sun is on the side. Before, before I put the pillars, um, we need to remove this uh, spacer that prevents us from putting the middle uh, the middle panel. So use like a channel lock or any lock to pry it off as close as you can get from the tacking. So the channel locks is this. I prefer this way. So pry the thing off close. As you can get from that tacking, from that wall tacking. See, you just need this remove and you're ready to go. Do it for both sides. Here, finally, you pried it off right here. So we're ready to put the middle, middle um, panel up. But first, we gotta put the side panels. Keeps forgetting. Now we're ready to put our visors. So all I'll do is uh, remove the actual visors first. Now use the torque screws to put in the visors. I can I can go right here. Um, use a, use a mirror, <laughs> and that's pretty easy, guys. Um, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this um, this installation video, and hope to see you guys next time. All right, Jake's be buzzing away. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs>